you spoke with Rob as well, who said he thought there had been sort of this shift in energy to you in your relationship. Were you feeling that as well? Or when you heard that, were you kind of surprised that he said that to you? I was shocked that he said it because I had been saying that. And I had been saying that in the matter of his energy shifted. He completely changed with me. And I mean, if you notice a lot of the episodes, and I know they're hard to make sense, is like, I'm like, are you okay? What's wrong? What did I do? Like, I literally was just like, confused. And then, you know, things would happen, I would react. And then I was just confused again. So the energy shifted. Um, I admit, but I, I it, did, it didn't start with me. It was, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Rob also said that he thought, which is unfortunately a complaint that women hear a lot in, in particular, that you were jealous, that you were overreacting to the whole thing going on. What did you make of this? I mean, in your mind, what's going through Rob's head? What's going through your head? Break it down for me. Yeah, I mean, that was the gaslighting. Like, I, I think any, any, I don't even want to say woman, any person in that position would have felt bothered and insecure and jealous um, just because it was such an extreme. It was such an extreme of like, he would message me, let's go, let's go eat meals together. And then next thing I know, he stops messaging me about eating meals together and then he's eating them with Asia. So these are all the little subtle things people don't see. So it's like the whole season, we're trying to eat our meals together to spend time together. And then all of a sudden I don't hear from him and he's, you know, I, I come down and, and then they're sitting together with their banter. So those were the, th it was, I wasn't, I wasn't jealous of Asia. Asia has this great personality, whatever, but it's not for me. I'm not jealous. I don't strive to be like her. She's her own person and I'm my own person. So it was more of like a what the right really and quality time that you guys wanted to spend together you're like you told me one thing you're doing another well it What's went from here? spending that quality time and him initiating that to then she gets on board and him not doing it anymore so that's going to be a red flag and you know in last week's episode we were left with rob sort of deciding to join david in learning more about the engineering route in yachting he was conflicted at first and then he kind of made the go ahead to go and do it however this means that he was going to bail on bali which had sort of been this you know this narrative from the beginning that you guys were going to go together did he actually bail on bali is what i want to know did he bail on bali um no he did not uh, oh, okay. <laughs> How was that trip, Jess? <laughs> May have been better if he did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rob and I, we were together for six months after, you know, in total. So uh, six months we were together. We went to Bali. We were there for about a month. We went to Thailand. We were there for about a month. We went to LA. We went to um, North Carolina. And then we went down to South Florida. So we were together quite a bit. Um, yeah, Bali and North Carolina. I mean, what exotic places in the world that you're going to here, Jess? Who would have thought we would be hitting all those stops? But, you know, but, I, but I'm curious, because you guys did have a real relationship, and I, and I don't want to undermine it. I mean, there were real feelings involved here. Did you sort of support his personal decision to continue his learning, learning about the engineering route, even if it meant he wasn't going to go to Bali, or were you just really focused on getting that quality time with him and going to Bali. No, if that was what he wanted to do, I would 1000% support that. We had conversations about, okay, what do we do next? I would bring it up because I, you know, I would start getting anxiety. Like, okay, what are we going to do next for obviously for life and money? And we're talking about building and having a life together that requires money, unfortunately. So I would have supported that. The thing was, is that my hesitation even when he presented that whole, you know, surprise was that I think deep down, I just felt like it was bull and that's why I was so upset because I even say, you know, do you promise, promise you're going to go? I had, you know, I arranged certain like friends, um, coming and meeting up and then switching hotel reservations and having to cancel splitting a room with my girlfriend and she had to get her own room. Like, you know what I mean? There's like a whole right. thing going on that I completely changed for him to come. And then, you know, he's talking about bailing. And if you notice, he said it out of spite. He said it at a time when we're out 
out of spite just to hurt me. And that's why I was so upset. It's not because I didn't support him. Yeah, it certainly seems like he's not giving you, you know, a secure foundation in the relationship because he seems to be waffling all the time about what he wants, at least from a viewer standpoint. I know you guys dated for six months, but I have to ask, what's the status of you and Rob right now? Uh, talking, not talking, bad blood? What's up? Uh, we're definitely not talking. Um, I, can't, I don't like ever saying never, but I'm pretty confident in we will never talk again. Um, never say never, but not likely is really what you're telling me. <laughs> highly unlikely. Well, it's been a wild ride on the boat this season in general. It's been an emotional roller coaster for you, I'm sure. Where do you want to take your career next? I mean, what's the next step for you? Are you going to be a chief stew, you know, on another boat somewhere? Where do you want to travel? What's next for you, Jess? You know, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I said I was never, I just wanted to be a chief stew from this point forward, but I just got the opportunity. There's a particular boat that I've been wanting to join because the owners, the pay, the crew is just like amazing. So I'm about to tonight start a, uh, a little trial period. So I've got, finally got the opportunity. They've been looking for this position, you know, for like six months now. So, um, as a second stew. <laughs> So you're so, moving up. You're moving up in the world. You're moving up in the well, world. Well, I've no, I've I've been um, you know, below deck was the only time I was a third stew. So I've been second stew and soul stew. So wow, all right. So you're gonna continue the boating route and see in the world though, for sure. If I don't get this job on this boat, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably I, I'm not just gonna get on any random boat. Um, if I get this job, then yes, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be traveling and I'll be staying in yachting. Well, Jess, I love you so much. Thank you for being vulnerable on Below Deck Med. Thank you so much for stopping by and being here with me today. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> People, you can watch new episodes of Below Deck Mediterranean every Monday at 9, 8 central on Bravo. This season is incredible.